Hello, my friends, and welcome to my channel. I started updating our forty-year-old house about a year and a half ago. As I'm doing this by myself, I decided to do it section by section. Today, I'll be working on another section of the downstairs. My goal is to turn this area into a cozy reading nook. But first, I'm going to give this big ordinary window a brand new look, as well as the surrounding area. So let's go. Last year, I did a makeover on our forty-year-old patio door. The door was in bad shape. With limited budget, instead of replacing it, I fixed all the damages and turned it into a beautiful French door. That was a great project. Until now, the door is still holding up perfectly. I want to do the same tricks on this window. The only difference is. This is a sliding window with double sliders. I need to make sure the sliders would still be functioning after the trim is installed. I did a test with the trim I chose to use, and it worked out just fine. There's another sliding window across the patio inside our dining room. I'll turn them both into French windows. After done with the measurements, once I decided how many panes I wanted this window to have, then I went to Lowe's and bought the pine trim from the molding section. I asked the staff to help me to cut each piece to the length I needed for the vertical trim. So they would fit in my car, and I cut the rest of the pieces at home using my little handsaw. 
I use painter's tape to attach two trim together and cut them at once. Now I need to attach the side trim to the vertical trim by using Gorilla Glue. I chose to use clear glue as it can be seen through from the other side of the glass window. When you glue the trim together, make sure to use a level or spit square to ensure everything's nice and straight. Once the glue is fully cured, I painted all the trim in the same color that I used for window.
while waiting for the paint to dry, I painted the rest of the wall. After everything had dried, I applied the glue on the back of all the trim, then used my finger to spread it evenly and wipe off any excess. After gently putting the trim on the window, I use painter's tape to help secure the trim on the glass until the glue is fully cured. And this is the look from the back side. The trim looks very clean. You wouldn't tell that was glued on the glass. That's it for this time guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos to follow. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.